Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Rajni Khan and today's video we are going to discuss monolithic application and its disadvantage. Okay, so this is that continuation of LAN microservices with Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. Okay, so before moving to uh, today's topic, if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side right so if you see here lot of videos i have posted throw throws final finally finalize class not found exception versus no class day found error git series lambda fibonacci series json series intellij idea with git series right so crud application and javaid feature kafka consumer producer and uh, some logical question lot of videos are there okay so if you are really interested you can watch those videos as well or explore those videos as well it might be helpful to you okay so let's move to today's topic monolithic application and what are the disadvantages right so i'll make this video uh, short and precise and let me open my ppt okay so i will not gonna write some program or anything this is a theoretical session okay so ideally what exactly this is a monolithic application right so monolithic apply in monolithic application every functionality will be bind into a single unit right if you see here this monolithic e-commerce application we do have accounting service we do have inventory service we do have shipping service right so entire functionality will develop into a single unit and we will expo will export that entire application into a war and we will gonna deploy into our application servers okay so this is the monolithic application where entire functionality will be bind into a single application okay and single db will be there where every functionality will be uh, connected with uh, db and it will face the data okay so let's move to next slide and we'll gonna see what are that disadvantages will get from here okay the first thing the application is packaged and deployed as a fat war fat war it indicates that it's a large size war we will deploy into our application servers okay second the application is growing over time and eventually become huge definitely a lot of developers will uh, work together to develop different different functionality and uh, by by the by the time growing over the time we will add lot of other features to that single application right so definitely it will gonna huge that application will be gonna large and huge okay then third point once your application has become large complex monolith it's difficult to understand and fixing bug this is sure and definite thing i mean if you will if your application will be large and huge then that then its complexity will be increased right so if any if something went wrong and some bug arises then it's difficult to understand which part and where exactly this bug occurred right so it will take lot of time to fix that particular bug because that entire that entire functionality lot of functionality will be bound together as a war so it's it's difficult to identify the bug and fixing the bug and definitely if that project is large and complex if any new member joined in your team definitely he will take lot of time to understand that system or that application right this will be not easy for anyone to understand that system okay then moving to next the larger the application the longer the startup time right so it's decrease the productivity 
okay so once your application will be become large right once that application will become large then it will take it will take a longer time to start the application while you will deploy your application it will take longer time to start your application right so from my experience i will tell one thing so in one of my previous project it was it was a monolithic application and uh, it will going to deploy in web sphere server right so uh, there will be lot of modules are attached to that to that particular monolithic application and it's kind of huge huge code base and huge application okay so uh, some uh, lakhs or lakhs amount of lines of code, code will be there and uh, it's a very huge application so i could see in my local while deploying that application in my local it was taking about 30 minutes of time right just imagine in my local it was taking 30 minutes of time to just start up that application right so i will usually i will start that application and i'll i'll go for some tea or coffee and i will come back then i could i could see okay that uh, application got started right so in this way in this way it will decrease the productivity time just imagine it was taking 30 minutes to start that application if you want to change something again and restart the application then gone your day right you will not even able to not even able to fix a single single bug or a uh, single line of code it will take it, it will take very very difficult because it will take longer startup time right hope you got a, a crystal picture right what exactly will face the problem moving to next an obstacle to continuous deployment as it will get as it will take long startup time it's pretty pretty obvious because it will take uh, it will take long startup time uh, as as day to day as in the day to day life we are deploy continuously deploying our applications right so continuous deployment continuous integration so we will not going to deploy our our applications continuously because it will take longer startup time right hope you got that one uh, then monolithic next one is monolithic applications can can also be difficult to scale it's pretty obvious right so your application is a huge and large right and you want to scale a particular functionality on that one right so it's very difficult to scale you scale your application why you need to scale that entire application not only that particular functionality because the entire the different different entire functionality will be bound to a particular application or particular var there will be no option to deploy individually individually that functionality you are bound to deploy the whole application you are bound to scale that whole application right so it will be very difficult to scale scale means uh, you want to deploy your same application multiple times in multiple instances right so uh, if if some particular functionality is getting huge request then you want to scale that particular functionality right but here as that entire everything will be bound to a particular var or single unit we cannot scale individual functionalities we need to scale that entire application right so we need to uh, deploy in different nodes with that entire application okay then last one it's extremely difficult to adopt new frameworks and languages to as it's huge and complex okay so as that application is a huge code base and it's very huge and complex so it's very difficult to adopt new framework or new languages right so if you want to upgrade your uh, upgrade your application then it will be very difficult or you want to or if you want to plan plan the migration migration of the technology then it will be not easy why it's not easy because it's a huge 
application you cannot just touch a somewhere right so it's very extremely difficult to adopt new frameworks and languages as as it's huge and complex right so i have explained that in details uh, what is monolithic application and what are the disadvantages of monolithic applications right so hope you got a crystal clear picture if you have any doubts or query uh, you can post into that comment section and uh, in next in next session we will see microservice architecture and its uh, advantages right so uh, please uh, i request everybody have some feedbacks in the comment section uh, so that uh, it will boost my it will boost boost my will power to uh, upload some more videos like this right so thank you for watching